Hello, it's Koi, and welcome to the Eclectic Cottage. Thanks for joining me today. I've just stepped into the art room for a quick little get my head wrapped around whatever's going on Christmas on my desk. I have a lot of things to do today, but I did want to um, at least do a check-in with, you know, with what I do have going on and get a good idea of maybe where I'm going, and I wanted, I missed you guys, I wanted to stop in and say hello, so hello, <laughs> how are you, what's going on in your world, let me know, if you're crafting along, um, you know, with your, your holidays, or whatever's going on on your desk, let me know, I'd be really interested to, to hear, uh, this is what I've got going on, and Hopefully, this is my last mass make until probably Valentine's Day. I will do a Valentine's Day. But, yeah, this is going to be possibly 10 two signature journals. Signature one, signature two. They're not identical. They're very, very similar. But they will, you know, once we start adding stuff to them they will no longer be so it's not going to be cookie cutter i want to add fun surprises um you know throughout the journals so that people have you know something to look forward to and people that have multiple journals or multiple i have one my sister has one or me and my best friend have one me and my mom anyway so the journals are not exactly the same i want them to be different and that makes it fun for me too if i had to do everything if i had to do 10 identical journals that would really be boring wouldn't it let me know do you do mass makes um at all anybody else doing mass makes it I personally like it. It's um, energizing, but I'm really looking forward to going back to individualized, maybe after the beginning of the year, more specialized um, uh, individual journals. <laughs> Working on one journal at a time. Anyway, let's take a quick look at what the signatures look like. Again, they're not um, going to be identical, but they're going to be very similar. So let's see what we've got. I just love this paper. Isn't that pretty? Gosh, one just more lovely than the next. Okay. Signature one. Pretty Florentine paper. And then, you know, a lot of what's in here is just the, um, you know, the backgrounds that I use all the time. This was a, a freebie from, I use it all the time, I think because I like the S&H green stamps are so bright down there, but this was a freebie from Seven Plaza. If um, any of you follow along with her, you may have that same background that you use. A lot of it is vintage. This was um, from a uh, an old French, I like the, the dots. This is from an old French um, uh, poetry book and some vintage um, music pages for children. These are from the same as this. I'm, uh, I know this, <laughs> I can't think right now. I can't even think of the name of the places, the, um, the shops that I got these from. But I've mentioned them before, and I'll try to mention them again. I just, I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, something, something in York. Anyway. This, again, was that um, children's little encyclopedia that was all, the entire book had uh, red and green pages in it. It was cute. And some little vintage Vintage or retro, actually. Little retro holiday images. This is from a recipe holiday uh, recipe book. Little Asian. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. 
I just love the look of it. I love the look of, you know, Chinese, Japanese. I love the look of the um, print. It's just, it, it, you know, it doesn't say Chinese on the front of the book. It's all written in Asian. I'm just going to call it Asian, Asian type. Okay, so nothing going on so far. It's just the pages. I love that one. Um, I think it ended up, they ended up with a few more pages than I intended. Um, so it might be a little gator mouthy towards the, I won't let it be gator mouth. I'm going to make a nice little spine on it. But there are more pages per signature than I intended. I wanted to keep it, you know, down to eight or eight or ten. And probably if I did make it eight or ten, I could probably make one more signature with the paper I already have here. Okay. This is a, a book that I got, the very thick book that I got yesterday. Um, for 25 cents and it, it's Louisiana like history on history on politics you know history on literature and theater religion philosophy and learning uh, visual arts music science and technology growth Chi Chi you have to wait for us okay and daily life and what I liked about it why I, I put it in these books is because it's got the red for Christmas, it's got the little red print up there, which I like. Okay. I'm probably going to have to go see about Chi Chi. So let's do a quick flip, and I'll put it on pause and come right back. Because, obviously, she needs something. She gets very needy when I turn on the... Um, I like this. This is... I'm out of, I think this is the last few pages like that that I have. It's vintage uh, ledgers. All right, so that's my signatures. I'm going to go tend to the Cheech, and I'll be back. Okay, and I'm back. Yes, Cheechy seems to... Um, to get ex <laughs> very needy when I turn on the uh, camera. She thinks it's time to do something fun because she hears my voice and 90% of the time if I'm talking, it's to her, right? Anyway, she's out doing her chi-chi stuff out front on the front porch watching the world go by. And I am back in the art room. Okay, so those are my signatures. I also did a little bit of, you know, fussy cutting, um... This is very little because we're going to need a lot. 20, uh, 20 signatures, we're going to need a lot. And I haven't completely even wrapped my head around it. This, you know, a lot of what is in here, it's a mix of traditional colors and vintage, you know, vintage uh, colors. Um, you know me, I don't do like... I don't do matchy matchy. I am a, my journals are all very eclectic, and I don't see that that's ever going to change. I can't imagine like buying somebody's kit and making a journal just with a kit. I don't do that. It because it doesn't speak to me. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. And I know a lot of people do that. I think that's wonderful, but that just doesn't really speak to me. So here's my signatures. Let me get those out of the way. I'm going to work on this morning um, doing some backing for some pockets. Look at this was is a postcard and it's just a, a scan of a postcard from New Orleans. So cute. Okay. And just things. Um, a lot of it's just because it's Christmas colors. Like, this has nothing to do with Christmas. I just think that it looks very Christmassy, and I'm going to put it in a couple of my Christmas journals. Yes, I am. The same with these bright red, um, what are they, hibiscus. I made these um, through Procreate. I put them in, you know, ran them through Procreate, and 
um, did a little work on them in July when I was doing Christmas in July for my Mexican journal. They were very um, appropriate for for Feliz Navidad in or Navidad in Julio. Is that how you say Christmas in July in Mexican? <laughs> So it was appropriate for that. Um, I'm going to use it again in my Christmas journals. These are going to maybe be big, big pockets. And I could even, you know, I even have some cut out to maybe do some tags. So I have a few of those. Oh, um, my friend Louise at Louise W Designs. I printed these out. I thought they might make nice pocket stuffers. Um... She's got them set up to make actual Christmas cards. If you printed them on on cardstock, they would make um, great little Christmas cards. And Louise, you could even add a little winter glitter if you wanted to. <laughs> um, but I thought that I might use them to stick in for some extra journaling space into some pockets or just, you know, a cute paper clip and clip them to the top of a page somewhere. So that's what I'm going to use those for. And what else do we have? Oh, these are just like little washi strips in Christmassy kind of colors. No, no, no. It's faux she, right? Faux washi. And then some actual tags. So um, I guess my project for now is going to be to back these things. Um, these I'm gonna leave as is. I wanna leave those thin. The fussy cutting didn't need any backing, but the pockets will, the tags will, because even though I'm using like a 32 pound paper, I still, they still need a little, a little oomph. They still need a little help. So when I, I'm going to use, because it's, Right here on my desk, I'm going to use um, this creamy colored paper to back anything, my tags and stuff right now. I will like to get a little bit more um, yeah, maybe something like this. I'd like to get a little more, you know, involved than just plain paper, but I have all of that sitting right there. So I'm going to back it with things that are writable, things that are easy to write on. And then anything that's a pocket and such, I use junk. It's a junk journal, so I use all the paper out of my scrap bin. Um, so this is all like leftovers from our paint parties with, you know, directions for the, for the paintings and such. And I'm just going to... Uh, back my pockets because the back doesn't show. I'm going to back that with junk, trash, stuff out of the bin. Okay, um, so that's what I'm up to right now. And I don't think that, you know, in mass making, I don't know that uh, you're going to want to come along and, and, and sit through the whole, that whole process, but I did want to stop in and say hello, and maybe I'll wait to wrap the video up until I have accomplished some things. I'll come back and show you what I ended up with today. All right. Okay, and how time flies in the art room. All right, I did um, back some of my... Ta These are mostly tags or you know, flips, tucks, that kind of thing. Um, not tucks. It's things that are going to, to be written on. So tags and journal cords. And I'm going to need a lot more than this. These, I think, are from the um, graphics fairy. My bluebirds, I put a bluebird, I try to remember to put a bluebird of happiness in every journal that I make, no matter, so I have the big ones, and then I have several of these. Um, I want to make sure that I have enough bluebirds for every journal, because what would a journal be without a bluebird of happiness, right? 
Okay, I am going to call it a wrap. I've got a lot of things to do today um, outside of the art room. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I hope that if you're crafting, all is going well. And if you're living your life, live it. Thank you guys for stopping by. And I'm going to see you real soon. Bye.